Hello everyone, it's Jackie here. Um, I have a couple of new mini albums to share with you. Um, both of them use Laura Dennison's Stack the Deck binding. Um, if anybody doesn't know about this, I'll um, put a link underneath. It's a great binding, I think. It gives a lovely neat finish. Um, you can see here how, how that happens. Um, for this album I've used chipboard covers and the pages inside are envelopes. The paper is Prima Botanica or maybe Botanical, I can't quite remember. And I've decorated the front with a series of Spellbinders dies from Labels 1 and the Tim Holtz Tattered Florals die cut flowers. Um, the leaves are from a Sizzix die and I looks as if I just need to stick a couple down there. I've done a little closure on this album, just a ribbon and it opens to reveal page one which has a pocket and a tag. Paper already had the flowers on and I've put a little bit of glossy accents just to um, bring those up a little bit and I've used a bit of stamping um, in this album on the back and the front of that particular tag. This next page is a folder that I've closed with um, a hair clip that I've sprayed black and decorated with a little um, a dragonfly charm. I've used a few uh, punch dragonflies throughout this album as well that I've just covered in um, uh, stickles just to accent that. So this pulls off like so and this page opens out to reveal space for a photograph and either more photographs or journaling on either side. All of the envelopes, there are six all together with this binding, they contain a large tag which has pattern paper on one side and space for journaling and a bit more stamping as decoration on the other side. The next page is the labels die cut again, raised this time on pop dots with a series of um, tags, decrease in size I've used the Martha Stewart edge punch to decorate the bottom of a couple one and a bit more stamping on those just to add interest. This next page opens to reveal space for photographs and journaling if that's what you would prefer. Okay. And I've used the Martha Stewart edge punch here and in other places throughout this album. I had this as a Christmas present which was rather nice. This tag has the paper there, very pretty paper I think that one is. And that space on the back. The next page is a pocket with a small folder in it for more photographs and that's decorated with um, Tim Holtz flourish die. This page is a pocket in the other direction and again I've, you can see a little dragonfly here, I've made a folder um, for more space for photographs. This tag is decorated this page I've used two of the labels die cuts and I've raised this one on pop dots so there's room here to slide a photograph, a small photograph underneath and put it there and I've decorated it with a banner which I've cut myself um, using some pattern scissors on that page. This is a corner pocket made from an envelope. Uh, I've put a round, this is a Spellbinders, I think this is called Lacy Circles, it's a lovely die. Um, space there for journaling and a plain, a plain tag as well. And this one has um, cogs on the back of it. It's fairly eclectic this album. 
this page, fold her again, closed with a fancy paper clip and I open this just to reveal a little pocket page and more tags in there. On this page I've made um, another pocket but a slightly different style this time and a tag that's decorated as I said eclectically with the Eiffel Tower and Martha Stewart punch used again there. This is also a little tag, I'm not sure there's room, I suppose you could put a tiny photograph there on there either side but it's more to add interest. And this tag is decorated on the back again with journaling space and a stamp. This page is just a plain photo mat and a similar set shaped um, photo mat on this side, another paper clip, this time decorated with a paper flower and this time this one opens to reveal more space for photographs and the tag this time has a different leaf on it. And on the last page there's a belly band decorated again with the Tim Holtz flourish and a couple of photo mats on there journaling space on the back. Inside the back cover I've made a folder with um, little metal tabs as a closure and this opens out to reveal lots of space for photographs and the bottom one I made it slightly more interesting hopefully with a belly band and a little extra tag there. I really enjoyed making this album, although it did take me some time. Um, if anybody ever visits my blog, they'll know we have a new puppy in the house. And that's taking so much of my time up that crafting is having to take a back seat at the moment. I hope you enjoyed looking. Thank you.